7.32 p.m. Councilwoman Selby? Present. Councilman Caracchini? Present. Supervisor Keating? Present. Councilwoman Lukacic? Present. Councilwoman Martin? Not present? Not present. And um, Councilman Caracchini, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, this evening we don't have any other preliminary matters, so we'll move right along to regular business. Um, we have the correction and adoption of minutes from the June 16, 2021 Town Board meeting. And Councilwoman Lubitschek, would you mind taking that out? Yes, Mr. Supervisor. Um, I had a chance to review the minutes from our last uh, meeting, June 16, 2021, and uh, I make no changes uh, or additions, so I make a move that we approve the minutes from June 16, 2021. I'll second. Councilwoman Selby? Yes. Councilman Curran Keating? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilwoman Lukacic? Yes. Motion carried. All right. <clears throat> Item number two tonight on a regular business is the consideration of all fund bills. Councilman Selby, would you mind taking a look at that item tonight? Thank you, Supervisor. I would like to make a motion to approve payment of the listed bills in the total of $163,646.32. I'll second. Councilwoman Selby? Yes. Councilman Tarkini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilwoman Lukacic? Yes. Motion carried. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, moving on to item number three under correspondence. We just got one letter, uh, actually was drafted by uh, uh, Sierra Tatum, I, myself. Uh, this is for the New York State Environmental Conservation and the uh, Erie County Water Quality Improvement Program. Uh, this is a letter of support. Uh, it's actually a nice opportunity for the town of Boston, uh, but the uh, environment planning uh, over Erie County, uh, that group is looking to uh, acquire a, uh, a stormwater uh, uh, vacuum truck. And so they asked for the letters of support from all the local community, communities, and that would be something actually our town highway department to that after training uh, would be able to utilize. So offered up a letter of support, and hopefully it'll benefit our community if they can secure that, uh, that piece of equipment. And that's been received and filed. Moving on to new business, uh, we have a request from the floor. Uh, so I'll open up the floor. Uh, please come up to the microphone, state your name, address, and you have th uh, three minutes. The floor is open. Uh, Richard Hopkins, 6892 Pin Oak Drive, Boston, New York. Uh, I just wanted to thank the town board for the wonderful job that they did on the fireworks this year. It was really great seeing the fireworks go on and all the people that, that showed up. Uh, people were telling me that they were shocked to see how a little town like Boston could put on a fireworks like that compared to some of the bigger towns that, that don't do that. And also it was great to be able to set last night at our first uh, concert series and stuff. There was a very good turnout at that last night, so I would like to thank the board for all the work that they've done and for putting that back into service. Thank you. Uh, Patrick Byrne, uh, address is 21 Kingswood Drive in Cheektowaga. Now I know that sounds weird, but I lived here almost all my life, so I'd like to ask you guys something else. I'm actually here to ask what the process would be like if I wanted to um, try to oversee uh, the making of a disc golf course here in the town park. Disc golf? Oh, you yeah, haven't heard of it? Have you guys heard oh, of it? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's actually nice that Councilman Luca Chick and Councilman uh, Caraccini are here because I saw you guys are in charge of the parks and rec stuff. So. Um, just wondering what that process would be like. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So if um, you had any questions for me, what that would be like on my end, but it's kind of something new to try. Yeah, but that, that's great. Uh, if you want to follow either one of them, um, I, I'm trying to think. I believe that we all know that there's a lot of money coming out from the federal government, also the state right now, within, uh, in regards to um, <coughs> grant opportunities, etc. Um, I would say definitely feel free to touch base with Jen and or Mike and um, let them know what, you, what you're thinking because there is uh, some uh, parks and rec money out there. I don't know. We can tie that in, but you know, like anything else, uh, you know, can do a bunch of brainstorming, see where we find funding for that. So like that. suggested locations and yeah. you know, what you envision. Sure. How much space do you need for something like that? Do you know? It's yeah. tough. So I'd like, you know, I, I know the park pretty well. Um, I would try to utilize as much space as possible. Do they still utilize um, 
kind of like where they're shooting flyers down in that area. Are there still fields down there? Yes. yes. Yeah. F football okay. and softball. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it it's really like we would utilize as much space as we could and try to put as many holes as possible. I think a budget would be, you know, what I don't know what the the holes you call them holes, I guess. Um, yeah, the cages. Or... Yeah, I don't. I have no idea what those cost. Um, I you put them in cement, I believe. Do you not? So that yeah. they can take a shot. Um, yeah, I estimated um, if it's a nine hole course, which would, it might be tight, uh, it would be around three thousand. The cages itself cost about two to three hundred each. At one point, we were um, looking at having sponsors donate holes. That was my thought as well. Yeah, we were thinking of that a few years back, where you could put your advertisement on each golf hole and say, you know, this has helped prop, you know, help pay for this whole one. It would be a, a kind of type of advertisement for businesses as well. Be part of the uh, Boys and Girls Club too. Right. I think it's a great idea. At one point, we weren't sure the parks were big enough. So this was brought up before? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm thinking 10, 15 years ago? 10, 15? It was a okay. while ago, yeah. yeah. And it was kind of decided that the park wasn't big enough. Now I'm wondering, did they have the um, the police barracks area before, 10 to 15 years ago? Is that? We did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll um, I'll try to estimate how many holes we could make with that and go from there. But there might be some limitations with the sports activities going on at certain times. Yeah, yeah, it'll be tough. I don't know if I'd even want any holes where the sports fields are. Yeah, you know, well, the football fields down in the lower yeah. area, you know, soccer. And so that could be an obstacle there. So a lot of things you have to think about, I guess, yeah. before we that forward. Yeah, comprehensive plan. Yeah, I'll come up with the plan and then I'll email. No, I mean, that's something you want to look at the project as a whole. I mean, grab a, grab a map yeah. of, of the park and, you know, sure, I'll help you with that. Awesome. Cool. That's it. All right. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your interest. No other comment? I will close the floor. All right, moving right along. Item number 200 new business tonight. We have an application for use of the meeting facility for the Boston Emergency Squad. Um, I just want to make note that this is kind of a retroactive uh, request from the Boston Emergency Squad. They had a training come up. Um, and uh, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take this particular item tonight. But there's an application for use of the facility for the Boston Emergency Squad. Uh, the date was June 23rd, 2021. Um, you know, it was a training opportunity that would kind of came up last minute. They had uh, 20 attendees that were looking to use the community room uh, without the kitchen. And it was from 7.30 to 9.30. Um, and uh, I'd, I'd like to make a motion to approve that uh, town, town meeting facility request. I second. Councilwoman Selby? Yes. Councilman Carcini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilwoman Lukacic? Yes. Motion carried. All right, item number three, we have an application for a use facility for the Boston Town Band. Um, yeah, and Councilman Carter Keating, can I take that up tonight? Thank you, Supervisor Keating. Uh, this one is also retroactive. Um, this was for the Boston Town Band to use the Lion Shelter for band practice on the 29th of June from 7 to 9 p.m. I make the motion that we accept this use of facility because it was important to our 4th of July festival. With the fireworks and the concert. I'll second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Carter Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilwoman Lukacic? Heck yes. Motion carried. All right. Uh, item number four is an application for a use facility from the Towns <laughs> Conservation Advisory Council. And Councilwoman Selby, would you like to take that item tonight? Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. We have an application for from the Conservation Advisory Council, member Noah Quinlan, asking for um, September 11th from 10 to 3 for the LEAF Environmental Fair. Setup is at 10.30 and takedowns at 4.30. He's using the community room, lion shelter, and town fields. I would like to approve, um, make a recommendation to approve this facility application. And I will second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Karakini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lucci? Yes. Motion carried. Okay, item number five tonight is a uh, resolution, number 2021-39, 20, 
for a installation of sign for public library in the county right of way. And Councilwoman Lukacek, would you like to take that on tonight? Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Um, the library is requesting the installation of a sign um, that goes into the right of way um, and identifying its lo so that we can easily uh, find its location. Um, I, I make a motion that we approve 2021-39. Uh, I'll second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Karakini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lukacek? Yes. Motion carried. All right. Item number six is resolution 2021-40, approving uh, minor amendments to the Brookview Patio, Home, Patio Homes site plan. And Councilman Kirk Keating, would you like to take that out? Thank you, Supervisor Keating. Uh, based on the recommendation of the planning board, uh, I'd like to propose that we adopt resolution 2021-40, approving the minor amendments to the Brookfield Patio Homes site plan. I second. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Karakini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lukacek? Yes. Motion carried. All right. Uh, moving along, uh, going into old business. Uh, actually, we tabled this item at the last town board meeting uh, based on some recommendations from our highway superintendent. Uh, but item number one for old business is a town of Boston bill permit application. And uh, Councilwoman Sully, would you like to take that item tonight? Sure. Upon um, many revisions and reviews, we are finally updating our fill permit application That's to um, make sure that we have everything uh, more and compliant and we do not run into any further complications or issues in the future. So based on this new fill permit application, I'd like to make a motion to approve this application. I'll second. Councilwoman Selby? Yes. Councilman Karakini? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lukacek? Yes. Motion carried. All right. Uh, moving along to reports and presentations. Uh, the superintendent is not with us tonight, so Councilman Selby, you have the floor. Um, I'd like to just report that I was, as, as Richie had indicated, at the 4th of July um, fireworks, it was spectacular. Matt Shaw, as always, and Skyliners did an awesome job for us. Um, Matt's been a resident of Boston for a few years. I know him personally, and he does a great job, and I'm very happy that he lives in our town for us. Besides that, I have nothing else to report. All right, thank you very much. Councilman Carter Keating, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, Supervisor Keating. Um, the only thing I will add to that is Matt Shaw's company, Skylighters, is a nationally known pyrotechnics company who, again, we're fortunate to have him here, but there's a reason why we have such a great show, and that's because Matt takes a great deal of pride in what he puts out. Um, I'd also like to add that, you know, it's it's pretty remarkable in 2021 that we have a town band, and I'd like to recognize Herb Klein and all the volunteer members of the town band. It's awesome to see. I mean, I, I believe there were 80 chairs or more of people that got together to play patriotic music on the 4th of July. It's just something that, uh, you know, I, I think it's a great thing for the town, but it's the fact that it survived all the years that it has based on the dedication of people who volunteer for it, raise money for it, to buy music and things like that. It's just awesome. Um, and of course, all the people for attend, you know, for attending, I mean, it was very well attended. You know, the word is out in Western New York that the Town of Boston fireworks show is pretty awesome. And um, you know, I'd like to thank the first responders who did traffic control, you know, coming in and going out. You know, even if you were in the back, it was a relatively painless process to get out when, uh, when the fireworks were over. Um, and I'd personally like to thank Matt for the, uh, for the large cluster of booms at the end. Uh, we spoke <laughs> about that over the winter. And it was pretty cool when that happened. So that's all I have tonight. All right, thank you very much. Councilman Luke Jackie, up the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Um, so we had a cancellation of the zoning board in July um, due to uh, not having a forum. Um, and then um, in time for our publication for the, um, the notice that goes out um, in the sun. Um, the planning board is having theirs um, Next Tuesday is the scheduled date, um, and there will be, a, there's a, an upcoming agenda 
and the August um, zoning board is supposed to be on the 5th. Um, it may be changed to the 12th or it might be canceled. It depends on um, how things, uh, if they get the quorum and the availability uh, of the people. So that's all I have. All right, thank you very much. I'm good. You have the floor. Thank you, Supervisor Keating. Um, I did receive code enforcement officers' reports and dog control officer reports. So those um, are received and filed in my office. And the town clerk uh, June 2021 report has been submitted to the supervisor's office. Uh, unpaid town and county taxes have been returned to Erie County. Further payments can be made directly to Erie County Tax Department. Um, if you have any questions, though, please call my office if you need any further information. Um, just looking through the events of what will be going on here in town, the uh, Boston Library will be having outdoor preschool story time. So if you have any little ones um, or neighbors that may have little ones, that will be on Thursday mornings at 10.30 a.m. July 17th through August 19th, stories and crafts and games and songs and snacks and that's for ages three to six so and also the um the concert series had started i don't know if supervisor keating was going to um, say anything yeah. more about that but that is on a tuesday nights here um right back at the at the lion shelter starting at 6 p.m so the first one was last night it looked like it was well attended i think everyone was certainly itching to get out and do something so those will be uh, Tuesday evenings through the month of July we do have the um, the uh, bands their their place uh, the bands for July are posted here in the town hall and also on the website August concerts will be um, posted um, within the next couple of weeks and we will have Odin's Angels here on Saturday July 17th they are a search rescue and recovery group they'll be holding their craft and vendor show um, right here at the town hall um, on, the, on the town um, park grounds and that is from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. and if anyone is still in need of electronic recycling there still may be some availability um, through Erie County um, we haven't checked that recently but if um, you are still interested in that please um, give them a call. It's 1-585-627-8365. And that is all I have. Thank you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll echo pretty, pretty much what everybody else said. Uh, the Independence Day celebration was fantastic. It was great to see everybody together, come together as a community. So, and uh, as Councilman Cardacchini stated, uh, you know, Mash Holly does a really nice job for the community, uh, whether it was Facebook or in uh, meeting people face to face, uh, everybody raved about it. And we actually had some folks uh, one was from Blaise, one family was from Blaisdell, and one was from East Aurora, and they said that uh, Boston is now their annual 4th of July destination. So definitely cool to be able to say that for our community. Um, summer Concept Series, yes, uh, Allison works in my office. She put a lot of work into this this year, but the, the Fleetwood, as uh, the town clerk had stated, the Fleetwood Mac experience, they're a hard band to get a hold of. Um, they, they travel up and down the coast. Uh, they're actually traditionally a paid event. I will give Matt a shout out from the Fleetwood Mac experience. He's the gentleman who put uh, installed actually our new audio system here in the community room downstairs and up here with our new server racks so we're all digital now we're not we're running on 1970s equipment but he's one of the uh, guitar players there he offered to come out to boston with his band brought it out here come to find out that uh, uh three of the members of the band are actually uh, there's family relations here uh, bob Lerner, who used to be on our uh, zoning board uh, there's a family connection there so it was really cool they were honored to play and uh with a little bit of luck there looks like they might be coming back next year uh, so uh, last year or last night, I think there was probably two for those of you that were there. I'd say an easy 300 people probably last night, and it was it was packed. And then after the baseball game, everybody came over from the baseball game, so it was a great event. Um, <clears throat> but yes, yeah, so all, all all the events are, are up on the town website. Um, there's one date available in August. They were kind of holding out for a rain date, but we're waiting to see how weather you know, the forecast goes. We do have actually three bands, uh, kind of being rivalry uh, in a sense uh, for that spot. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's another big band, so we'll see how that goes. More, more information, stay tuned on that one. Um, Town of Boston Motor Projects, we talked about this at the last meeting. Of course, we, we approved some bonds. Um, please, uh, just a re friendly reminder, keep an, uh, an eye on the town website, all the updates for the water infrastructure for the town. 
all that information we put out on the town website to keep the public yet informed as to what's going on, the progress that we've made. And uh, downstairs at the work session, we're discussing the Amer American Rescue Plan funds that the town is receiving and at least right now, uh, kind of high level, our intention is to use some of those uh, those funds for both towards water projects. Um, moving along, uh, the town being designated as a clean energy community, uh, there's been some early discussions. There's, there's funding right now through NYSERDA and also NYSEG. Uh, but the next step would possibly be an electronic vehicle charging station at the town hall, fully covered through um, fin financial means. Uh, so something we'll take a, take a look at to see how that might play out, but uh, with EV cars kind of becoming the norm and mainstay, especially with really with Ford uh, making a huge commitment on, on the state side of things, um, they're gonna become kind of the norm for a while. So what a great way to enjoy our parks, hang out, be a destination for our community. Um, you know, and, uh, you know I'll, I'll touch base on this one part, uh, at, at the end, I guess I'll say this for last, but the, uh, the fair housing, um, it, there's a fair housing training that every municipality uh, goes through to be eligible for community development block grant fundings. I just went through that today. One of the requirements is that we have uh, the town offers up uh, to both renters and also landlords um, the ability to, first off, provide any kind of documentation. There's flyers in the town clerk's office that are readily available to the public, but also for any of us elected officials, should a resident or, or landlord have their experience any problems, we can work with connecting them with a uh, home, which that acronym stands for housing opportunities made equal, um, and then the housing opportunities make it equal will kind of uh, pick up the baton, so to speak, and work work on any concerns that the landlord and or tenant may end up having. So um, the town is compliant with that as of today, that, that's something new. And uh, just last but not least, I've had two phone calls. No, there's not a new state of emergency for the town of Boston. I saved this one for last because I'm not kind of done talking about it personally, uh, but the Delta variant of the COVID that's out there, it, it's real. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get on any soapboxes. I'm just gonna say, if you look at the numbers, look at the statistics, it's still here. It's still affecting the, the youth and all, um, but there, no, there's no state of emergency by the town right now. Uh, that, that had lapsed when the governor lifted uh, the state of emergency there. Uh, we, we lifted ours here in Boston. There's no emergency order from the town. There's no state of emergency. I just wanted to go on record stating that. So just kind of to hear, heed the guidance of the CDC right now. Uh, again, the guidance is out there, and um, I, that's all I will say on that matter, but I uh, wanted to put that on record that the town doesn't have anything. Last but not least, um, before I, uh, this is one thing I almost did forget, this week in the town hall parking lot will be uh, sealed. So um, we've, we've notified all the um, entities that use the town parking lot, uh, but uh, just to the, for the public, FYI, we're gonna put it out on Facebook, just let everybody know that the town hall parking lot will be sealed. It'll be back open for business on Monday, uh, and we'll be good to go there. And that's all I have for tonight. So I will call the meeting to close at uh, 7.55. I'll make a motion to close. Sorry. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Councilman Selby? Yes. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Councilman Lewis? Yes. Supervisor Keating? Yes. Councilman Lukacek? Yes. Motion carried. The meeting adjourned.